2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Luke Olvey here alongside Rich Beam at uh, the Copperhead course at Innersbrook, Rich. A soft opening to what's going to be a very challenging day. It's an easy opening, but in saying that, if you get a little bit out of position here at the first par five, 560 yards, uh, you're in a world of hurt. You have out of bounds left that sneaks into you a little bit quicker, bunkers down the fairway that you want no part of. All in all, if you walk off of this hole with a five, you're really not disappointed. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. Time for the second shot into the first. Opting for the three wood. Getting ready to play their third. Boy, Rich, that was a big-time save, that one. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. Getting off to a great start at this event. Time to tee off at the second. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. Already with multiple victories this season. So I might need to sit. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, I'm down on the fourth, and this is Tony Female. Setting up miles from the hole. Get in the hole. That's a good putt to make. We'll take that. And with it, he moves to one under par. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Looking really good. Oh, just missed. Putting for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. And with that, he's now broken the tie. All alone at the top of the leaderboard. The Copperhead course at Innisbrook can really bite you, especially if you're slightly wayward, and there's one of those holes right here at the third, Rich. Decisions to be made. The fairway narrows up should you take driver out, also the water on the right, so players more than likely laying back with some kind of fairway wood. Good-looking shot, this. Oh. 
Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Just off the fairway in the first cut. Looks to be going with the six iron. Uh, I'm not sure that's what they had in their mind. That's uh, further right than they wanted. And approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Now, coming out of the rough, missing the green was always in the cards. Eighteen feet to the cup. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Bogey putt coming up here. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Currently one under for the event. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Been a bit of a struggle on the greens. Hopefully he can change it here. That was a gallant attempt. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Let's have a look at Sergio Garcia from earlier. Our player currently in second, making a really great shot. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Oh, that's a beauty. How about holding that one? And after this hole, that's how it looks. Aggressive play here, going with driver off the tee. That reminded me of the big easy, silky smooth. Rich, this Larry Packard design back in 1974 is a par 71, but it's over 7,200 yards just outside of Tampa. Strong course. Oh, it's it's really strong. I got to say, this golf course, there's no let up in it. Every hole makes you think. It's relentless. Thankfully, there is a steakhouse just off the 18th Street Packard Steakhouse. I had a steak in there last night, a big bone-in ribeye. Oh, my goodness gracious. It was glorious. But anyways, back to the golf course, really difficult. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Make sure you get both the line and the speed right here. It's a long part. This one looking really good. It doesn't matter how you hit it if you can hold putts like that. And that will take him to two under. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. John, what's going on out there? Well, you're just in time for Tony Finau's next shot here on the fifth. Well done. And with it, he'll move to a couple under par. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. The sixth hole at Innersbrook's Copperhead course, Rich. It's a challenging one, isn't it? If you find the fairway off the tee here, 
you are an amazing human being. The fairway tilts from right to left very significantly. Holding the fairway is almost impossible. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Straight into the trees. Found the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. The excitement, it's starting, you can hear it. Looks to be going with the five iron. This is all over it like a tropical disease. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Sitting at one under the car, currently tied for sixth. Oh, I like that strike. This one's heading well towards the green. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. And that looked good for a long time. And he needs this to save par. Oh, that's frustrating. And this one will be for bogey. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey, trying to reclaim some momentum. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Just a couple back from our leader. Well struck. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Just didn't drop. Just three feet to the cup. Okay, let's head to the next. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. We've reached the eighth hole. The tee is yours. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Looks like that ball had a magnet in it for the bunker. They're in the bunker, but a chance to get up and down. That's great, it just missed the hole. Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, I'm down here on the 10th hole. Tony Finau's just getting ready to hit. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Well, that's wonderfully played out of the sand. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. He's currently tied for 11th. 
Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. We've reached the ninth hole. Time to tee off. That's some good golf right there. Well, that's beautifully judged. This putt is to move inside the all-important top ten. It's on a great line. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And he'll move into the top ten. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Two down, nine to go. I got to say, I like this player's chances. Couple of birdies and a couple of bogeys. Needs to get something going here today. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Only two shots off the pace. Opting for the five iron. Needs this one to kick right. That's not what they were looking for. And missing it long with that approach, not a good leave. close was that to going down well I hope he makes this one it's for par in she goes let's head to the next nicely played moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole let's see what happens here at the 11th hole One's heading down Broadway. There's been some great play all over this course. How about this shot at the 12th? Third shot now. I don't know about you, Rich, and I know he has his faults, but I really like Sergio Garcia, especially when he's on. He plays the game with such passion, and you know how much it means to him at any given time. It, yes, he has had some temper issues in the past, but listen, he wears his heart on his sleeve, and I couldn't see him playing golf any other way. And here we are with the third shot. They need to flight this one down into the wind. This one needs to kick left. Well played. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. Well, this would be a good putt to make. You'd move into the top five on the leaderboard. This one has eyes for the hole. And down she goes. I will take that also into the top five now. Just two shots back after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. But well, there's no doubt they'd have some positive vibes coming off that birdie. Let's see if they can keep it rolling.
That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick, ended up in the rough. Whoa, down there, Horsey. That's a little wayward. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. That takes great skill. Lovely shot out of the sand. Just a full footer remaining. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Nicely hold, and for par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. This hole is a par three. Oh, that was pure. Let's move one step closer to the lead here. This putt for a share of four. Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Time to take a look at Ian Poulter's effort. All right, John, how's this putt looking? I'm thinking 28 feet to the cup from here. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Welcome to this par five hole. That one was fired out of a cannon. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Getting ready to play their third. Three strokes off the lead. Ah, yes. What a shot that was. Making the difficult look very easy. This one's for Birdie. Putt is underway. You can mark it down. That's Birdie number four today. And that puts him into the top five for the tournament. Currently at minus four for the round. Managing to chase down the leaders. Closing that gap. Got to like it. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one headed left and not coming back. That's not the outcome they're after. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Time to play from the bunker. Ooh. Oh, stop it. 
What a way to make your par. Tough bunker shot, no bother whatsoever for this player. They find the bottom of the cup. Rich, we know Tony Finau is a big man, but he's also big on talent, isn't he? And he's got a big heart as well. I have to say, he would probably be voted the nicest guy on tour year in and year out. But don't let his demeanor fool you. He is a fierce competitor and can overtake and overpower any golf course at any given moment. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. The putt drops now at four under with just a few holes to play. And they're going to have to really focus in here to try and chase down that leader. Let's finish with a flurry. It'd be nice to make a move up the leaderboard. That's tidy. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways, John. What's up, mate? Well, I'm down on the 17th hole. This is Sergio Garcia's next shot. Oh, almost went in. Simply amazing. Splendid shot. Sets up the easy par. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. Two strokes off the lead. Going with the hybrid. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. And this putt will take them to five under. This one's online. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And with that, we'll move to five under par. And that finds him in a share of second. Getting closer to that top spot on the leaderboard. This is getting interesting. The Copperhead's penultimate hole is a good par three playing up the hill. It's a tough tee shot. Plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green is so narrow. Going with a three wood here. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Time to take a look at Ian Poulter's effort. Well, this should be unpredictable. Don't know what you're going to get from the golfing gods here. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Whoa, what a massive play if they can get this one up and down. Clutch even. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. Close to the lead. Make sure you drop this putt to maintain your momentum. Always rooting for this player, Luke. I hope this one goes. And just a simple tap in left for bogey. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. The closing hole of Innersbrook's Copperhead course is also the final hole of the Snake Pit, and this one here has everything going against it. Lay it back, and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill, but if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. From around 140 yards here, just a couple back from our leader. And choosing the eight iron here. 
Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. That's been an impressive display today. This for a 66. It's just about three feet away. And that will conclude his tournament to date. So, but it's all said and done. Just two shots the margin between them and victory, or at least a playoff reach. How do you assess their performance? It was good. It was good all around. You know, they, a couple of chances they could have taken out there today, but they just didn't, didn't get it quite done. So they'll look back at those missed opportunities, no doubt. But I think they're also going to be very thrilled with the fact they had such a good finish. Just two strokes back. Great performance.